hi viewers welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to make a beautiful trending burning sleeve you can achieve it in so many ways but this is the simplest way to achieve it and the items i need i need a fabric i need a gum stay this is the stick one and a burning structure there are two types of burning there is one that is sewable and this one is not so you can sew on it so you can make use of any of your choice so guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video now the first thing we'll do so this is a structure that starts from the chest region to the shoulder line it's not the main sleeve the trend as shown in the picture so I will determine the length I want to use. This is, I'm using 27 inches. So the length I need is 26. I added extra one inch. So the width is just for you to determine. If you want it bold, you can go ahead and cut it. And remember, when you are cutting, this is the sleeve line. This one will pass through your sleeve to cross to the back. Now you determine the length you want it to be. It will be folded like so. So I'll first of all measure this edge because this side, I don't want it to be too bold. Can go ahead and make it of seven inches. But this side that will be attached to the clothes that you've already sewn will be smaller so we can use four inches here now i will use four inches at this end part because i'm going to sew a casing for my boning because i will not sew through it i will sew a space where it will be passed through so i'm having four inches here then i will extend it to this i'll join the line to this point So guys, now you can see this is the place that has a gum stay. You can see how it looks. And this is the place that doesn't have it. So I'll go ahead and iron it first. Now I've ironed it very well. 
So the next thing I'll do is just to create a casing for my bony. I'll just sew through this point. Just take it like so. I'll just follow this sign. You can see this is just one quarter. I'll just sew through one quarter on the two ends. I'll sew one quarter this side, one quarter this side for the casing of this bonnet. And after that, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. Now I've created a casing for my bonnet. It's because this one, you can not sew through it. In my next video, I'll show you how to use the other type of bonnet. That one, you don't need to create a casing. It goes smoothly. You sew through it. While you are doing it, make sure you are making use of this side that is folded. You can see it. If you pass it through this side, it won't give you the right thing. So I'm following the circle. I'm true. You can then go ahead and attach it to your beautiful dress or top. You can use any design to embellish, but remember this side is the front. The place that has gums, they should be at the back. Why this is the front. You can see how smooth and beautiful it looks. So you can then go ahead and attach it to your beautiful clothes. Now you can go ahead and attach it to your beautiful clothes. You can see. For you to sew it, you can go ahead and attach it to your clothes. So because of the burning that is strong, for you to sew it, you place it this way. For you to sew it, you place it this way and sew through, then overlap it. You can see how it, it will come out. Then use your design, your trimmings. To design this edge the same thing to the back so guys i hope this video is helpful if you like drop your comment at the comment section don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video give it a thumbs up share to your friends and bye until i see you in my next video <music>